You're a little close. You are way too close. <laughs> Welcome back to Game and Wife, where we're a little too close. <laughs> a little too close for you, for comfort. All right. <laughs> I promised you guys some excitement in our last episode. I promised to show you what was behind the secret bomb of the wall. Pro you promised us, but you did not deliver. I did not. Because you charge a delivery fee. I'm going to deliver right now. So, you know, put on some pants. Put on pants. Because I'm at your house delivering. Because I, I got the I got the stuff. Yo, Vinny, I got the stuff. Kind of spoiled it when I said earlier that this was the key, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah. a key! Yeah! Huzzah! It's a slice of Velveeta cheese. Oh, my favorite. It's your favorite. Not really. I really am not a big fan of Velveeta at all, as a matter of fact. So, we've talked about this already, and I'm going to bring it up again. What? Our five-year anniversary was a, was a few days ago. Oh, it was awesome. Uh, it's just, we had a lot of fun, and okay. one of the cool things about going out of town, and this goes with, with anything, when when one goes out of town, you want to try and get the, the local food that you can't get anywhere else. Right, yeah, you don't want to go to McDonald's for lunch every day when you're out of town. <laughs> you don't want to do that anyway, because McDonald's is pretty gross. Their food is gross. Their food is gross. Like, um, and I'll get back to that in a second. Um... For those of you that don't watch mm -hmm. uh, Game Grumps, um, he talks about how Subway is like the worst thing because when you're in line, and I actually find this very hilarious, uh, you're in line and you're waiting and you, you're figuring out what you want and the lace says, uh, yeah, what can I get you? And it's, yeah, I'll have a, a sweet onion chicken teriyaki on uh, a foot long on flatbread. I'm like, okay. What kind of sandwich? <laughs> it's like <laughs> uh, um, teriyaki Sweet. on flatbread, and then they get you the flatbread, and then it's like, Seriously. okay, you said a foot long, right? It's like, yeah, oh god, yes, this, this the, the sandwich <laughs> I just said. But you know, in that, you're you're referring to that episode of Game Grumps. Yes, right? yes, totally. Danny says something very poignant in that at this point in time. Aaron is so irritated that every single thing that happens at that subway is going to irritate him. And I get that like that sometimes too, where the most ridiculous, stupid stuff irritates me because I've been made cranky by the situation already. Whether it be like other customers, because they're all in line for the same purpose is to get a damn sandwich. Right, <laughs> right. It happens to me at work sometimes where one person will irritate me to a point, yes. and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, God, and then she went to lunch. The nerve. <laughs> the nerve. <laughs> and then she was all breathing my air. Right? That's what it gets to be like. <laughs> it's like a poka poka poka. Yeah. It's, it's like the episode of The Simpsons where he freaking keeps hitting a dog in the face. If you keep doing it, that dog's going to bite. That's right. So anyway, back to my story. Okay, yeah, um, I, I apologize for interrupting. Yeah, we were in... Uh, we had stopped and uh, gotten this place that was clearly... The reason why I brought this up is because uh, we were looking for a place that just wasn't... Like I said, you can't get it anywhere else. Right. So we found something... I can't even remember the name of it. But they sold euros, which were fantastic. It's called Euro Kebabs. Euro Kebabs, yes. Yep. Are you going to die? I'm totally going to... My stupid controller issue is going to be the death of me here. Okay, this one's going to be tough. So we're going to apologize in advance. Good? All That's right. good? You're doing good. You're doing fine. Doing just fine. All right. So anyway, uh, kebab. I'm not going to talk a whole lot here. Okay, that, that's fine. I um, kebab. Whoop, what was it called? Euro, Euro kebabs. kebabs. Rudeberry Ginsburg. Ooh. Um, it was clearly. Oh my uh, god, I made it. it oh, sorry, <laughs> Jesus, I made it. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah. Euro so anyway. kebabs. No, not Uncle Bob. Yeah, I said Euro kebabs. <laughs> I didn't say Uncle Bob. Okay, so Euro kebabs. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm like, just tell the story. Um, it clearly used to be a subway. Because, you know, you recognize the designs of the vegetables that are on the, oh, the yeah. bottom part. I'm like, this is clear, this was clearly a subway. Which is fine. I mean, but it they had... really the perfect 
business for them to purchase as the their Euro kebabs. Yeah, but they. But to the Game Grumps thing, he he just he hates Subway, which I don't get because it's like their food is gross. I don't like the smell of their baked bread. That just sickens me when I after I leave, I have to change my shirt because of the baked bread <laughs> funk. <laughs> You do it. often complain when I like have secret Subway that I've come home smelling like fresh baked bread. My <sighs> older brother used to work at a Subway, and there I think with go. our cousin. And because of that, like he would come home and just reek of baked bread, which like most people are like, "Oh, that smells fantastic!" No, it reeks. It's like a diaper that's just stuffed with just roadkill and not proper right, smelling. I stuff. think you're getting a little out of hand there, stupid squeaky controller. Sorry, I'm really mad about. I'm really mad about well, Subway. Subway stank. Sub stank. <laughs> uh, I'm really mad about having, you know, food. Yeah, because third world countries don't get that, and uh, but we had a good time on our on our honeymoon. We had also gone to this uh, what was this uh, other restaurant? Oh, that was Adams Street Pub and Grill. Yeah, it was in downtown. Uh, Wisconsin, downtown Green Bay. Yep, downtown Green Bay. And I am used to, I grew, like I said, I grew up in downtown Grand Rapids, Michigan, where on f Saturday night, there's people everywhere. And you can't get a parking spot to save your life. No. And you have to walk eight blocks from your car into the restaurant, the which you then have to like wait 45 minutes at for a table. It's, yeah, it's busy on Saturday night. You might have to use your bow and arrow. Oh, maybe not. Oh, score. I'm getting Whoa! <laughs> a little close, little face on uh, face some action. link there. Yeah. So yeah, we were there, and it felt like a, a ghost town. There was no. Granted, we were having dinner at like five thirty, but I don't know. To be no, it was more like six thirty. So yeah, I thought it was like a re a very reasonable dinner time. But. Okay, like, and then eventually people started like coming in and stuff, and they started like saying, "We're really long." It's a bar. It's a pub. I'm sorry. I don't know if there's a difference. Like this is the bar. This is the pub. Okay, I got the lake light. Good. I apologize for my silence there. That bastard was gonna eat my shield if I didn't kill him. What are those called? Like likes. Like like. Like, uh. I like a, like a, like a lemon lollipop. Like, uh. Do you think he. If, <laughs> if the thing had a voice, it would say, uh, like a shield for me to eat? Like a pie. I would like a pie shield. Yeah, I thought there was fairies in those for some reason. There was not. Did you see how tricked I was? Got very tricked. That's a like, like trickster. <laughs> it's kind of like a trickster. Oh my god, this is the coolest part. Alright, listen, guys. Let me talk about this for a second. Okay. This room is yeah. crazy. I mean, it's all foggy, and there's a tree and, like, a little house thing. Yeah. All right? Remember that. I know that you've all seen this before, but right. just remember it for my sake, okay? You're walking on the water. Walking on the water. Oh, I'm going towards this really crazy house thing. Ah, oh, I can't do anything about it. Whatever. I'll go back to this tree. Oh, look. There's something there. What is that? Oh my god, it's Dark Link! <laughs> Conquer your sail. Conquer your sail. See, the thing is, is, he knows all my moves. But he doesn't have your Bagoron sword. No, he does not. <laughs> you just go up to him. You don't know anything. Stop! See, the trick is not only having the Bagoron sword, but if you don't Z target him, he's easier to kill. <laughs> he's easier to kill. But that's cool, right. though. So now we knew what that room looked like, and I'm running towards this house again, and what? I think that is just so awesome, you we, guys. We were in a temple all along. We were in this in this little tiny room. I thought that was so clever the first time that happened. My mind was just absolutely blown. And I like that uh, Miyamoto can, can do that. Man. Obviously, he came up with all this gobbledygook. Yep. Please be a compass. Another compass. <laughs> another compass. Yes. <laughs> All right. You got another compass. Son of a b If Link were to ever talk, this would be the time. Like, <laughs> son of a... And just whoop, throws it against the wall. Like, yep, breaks. Goes back to the boss, and then it's like, I will destroy you, Link. What is this? And it's a... <laughs> 
It's a second compass. How am I supposed to defeat? Breaks it open on the ground, just uses the broken glass to cut the boss and just kill him. All right. I so like. I like to escalate things. You do that escalated quickly too. <laughs> All right. So the vortex is an eye. We maybe don't get along so well, so this might take a second. Were you bullied by the Vortex in high school? Yeah, I was. You know what? The Vortex's mom didn't do anything about it. My mom called the Vortex's mom. <laughs> and was like, hey, your Vortex is picking on my kid. You need to do something about it, because that's how your mother sounds. Yeah. She's, <laughs> yeah. she's a big Italian guy. <laughs> you need to do something about it. What are you doing? We're going to slide really slowly down this hill. There we go. No, 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 come on. Uh, no, oh, come on. All right. You have to use the brown boot or the... No, the you can metal. It's just, it's easier to get sucked into the vortexes if you... If you've got on the boots. No, yeah. If you've got on the iron boots. Here's some logic for you. That he doesn't, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Something's Swim happening. Away. Swim away. Swim away. Swim, no, swim, swim. There you go, buddy. There you go. He's no right. Michael Phelps. I'll give him that. <laughs> you know. Phelps. Link is not a Michael Phelps. Oh, great 2012 Olympics reference. I'm I a little... I don't I'm know a, what year that was. Yeah, I'm a little late on that one. But, you know, hey. You don't want to get that gold skull out? I do. I want to get to where I can get him, though. Without getting sucked into the vortex. <laughs> Jello shots. <sighs> So I have been fancying this uh, drink lately, which I don't really condone drinking. But Even if you're twenty, <laughs> if you're twenty-one, anyway, um, there's this drink called um, Red's Apple Ale, and they have a yeah. Wicked Apple Ale, and it's eight percent. So it's there's a lot more alcohol in it, All and right, uh, I think it's cheaper. Like I get. I could buy like they're like eight eight ounce cans for a dollar, and I can get drunk for like three dollars. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. That makes me a very happy camper. Mm -hmm. All right. Also a drunk camper too. Yeah. Yes, the fur. Oh, no, did I catch it? Ha 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 ha! Oh good. Yeah. I thought maybe I had already scooped up its life force and let it die in front of me. Do you chew the furry? Do you chew on the furry? Mm. I, wa I saw this little uh, comic online that was quite sad actually and it was um, the Link gets a fairy and then the fairy like dies basically because the way that fairies help you is you have to give up, they have to give up their life force for you. Essentially, yeah. Alright, I gotta swim across, don't I? I think so. Let's do it to eraser controller. Let's go. Squeaky oh. eraser controller. Huh, 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 huh. Okay, I got it. Got a boy. Very nice, very nice. Shuka tukum. You got this, dude. Now you can use a long shot. Oh my gosh, this <laughs> controller is going to kill me. It's the aiming thing. It's not so bad when you're moving around, but you need to pinpoint and aim. Yeah. That probably it's becomes... It's just hard to be precise. <laughs> right, that so counted. That counted. counted. It pulled you in. Uh, <laughs> he just runs uh, into the grate. Oh, we remember this room. I already got um, everything out of this room, though, so I don't need... I think so. Oh, swirly room. Swirly vortex. Oh, come on. It's the swirly vortex death. It's a Texas hold'em. We're going to hold them like they do in Texas. Okay. Like We're going to know when to hold them. <laughs> We're going to know when to fold them. Yeah, that song is actually about towels. Yeah, it is. <laughs> How did you know? I think I know... I think I know my classic music here. I think I know my, my songs about towels. <laughs> Thank you very much. Towel Ballads, 1980. I mean, that was like the best CD. It was the soundtrack to my summer <laughs> that I wasn't alive for. <laughs> While I was still in my father's testes. Oh, gross. Yeah. 
Hadn't even made it that far yet, really. I mean. Yeah. I like to escalate things a little too much. Right, now where so do we now, go? I think it's somewhere. Oh, there's somewhere that I needed on the first level, actually. Well, let's look at your map. Check your map. Checking the map. It's like, let's oh, see. I already threw it out. Okay. All right. So now we need to get to the this, this third area up very top. And I think we're going to get to the very top next time. We're going to have to do it next time. Okay. We'll see you guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check us out on Facebook. And check out Andy's Video Game Amino. Yes. I will leave and all links in the description. Stock everything that we do because it's <laughs> all really cool. It's all really cool. What was he doing? Turn, turn. Oh, look how cool he is. <laughs> He's climbing into nothing. Uh, all right. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.